uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a short stack 2009 tour t-shirt and that is because today I'm going to be doing the how I did my makeup in high school thing challenge and I loved short stack when I was in high school. This is Andy, my fave. So I thought maybe it would be fitting to wear the shirt. Uh, so I guess let's get into it then. So the way I used to do my hair when I was in school is I would grab two bits from the front and I'd go like that. Oh God. And I'd grab a bit from the back and I would tie it up. Why did no one ever tell me that this looked bad? And then I used to pull it out. There we go, hot. I'd usually put like a piece of lace in there and tie it into a bow, but I don't have any. And then to put on my makeup, I would just bobby pin up my hair. I, I didn't know what primer was in high school and I didn't know what liquid foundation was until I was halfway through year 12. So I used to use this exact foundation I still have a few of them because I bought them on sale and then I found liquid foundation. So it's this Revlon, it's probably expired. Do they expire? I don't know. Ah oh, well. <laughs> and you know what the really sad thing is? I used to use this brush <laughs> to put it on. So what I would do, it's gonna have a sticker on it, isn't it? I bet this smells, okay. My blinds are fully open and I'm not wearing pants. It's right, no one's there. Oh my God, this smells like memories. <laughs> so before I put on um, my foundation, I actually use concealer. And I used to use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, which I no longer use because it's not light enough for me. And it never was light enough for me, but I used it, didn't I? Fucking used it anyway. <laughs> no one taught me how to colour match when I was 16. Alright. Can't tell if that's gone, it's probably gone off. So, um, I used to, fuck that is not my colour. Put that under my eyes. Fucking hell. Oh, that's a lot on there too. You get more than the fucking NARS products I'd buy now. And I actually, that's all I did I think. But I actually have put too much. I wouldn't have put this much under my eyes. And then I obviously used my fingers to blend that in. Oh my god, that is so yellow. <laughs> that is so yellow. Can you see how yellow it is on this camera? I don't know. <laughs> so I'd take the brush that it comes with. I'd fucking get it on there. And you know what I'd do? That. Well, at least I think it's kind of making the concealer yes, less yellow. The feeling of it, I remember. It's cold. Like, why is it cold? I'm just so upset. I can't believe that isn't enough. I. <laughs> that is disgusting. And the sad thing is, after this, I went to a liquid MAC foundation that was not my colour. And I actually was matched by the girls at MAC. And it was not my colour. Oh my god, this takes so long. Now, this is giving my skin a disgusting texture. And I have nice skin. And I would have had way nicer skin then, too. I never wore makeup really and I never got acne until I used that fucking MAC foundation and gave me acne. Why didn't I use a headband? Why didn't I just put on a headband? I remember once I had this bright red clip in my hair from pinning it up and I went my whole bus ride to school with that clip in and I got to school and saw it was still on and I was so embarrassed. Now I'd go out in a full fucking head of curlers, I don't give a shit what people think. I need more. I wonder if I blended down my neck. You know what? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have blended down my neck so I'm just gonna stop on the jawline. Oh, it literally, liquid foundation, with the one I use anyway, the double wear, feels better than this. This actually feels a lot heavier. Slide down and put it back on the lid, because that is so hygienic, isn't it? Um, I used this Maybelline Fit Me blush, and you've probably guessed, oh my God, this feels like straw. Oh my God, there's product in it, but I've never, can you see that? You can see that, I've never used it. Okay, um, I used to use the brush it came with. Let's get some product on that. I can't even see the... And then... Holy shit. This brush is just... I can feel it damaging my face. Um, the, the quality of these products, like... I use like NARS and Estee Lauder blushes now. Like, 
the quality of the packaging of NARS compared to this. Like, hourglass <laughs> packaging, beautiful, compared to this fucking plastic bullshit. Next, I would actually contour. So I had this powder from MAC, right? So I am very pale. I can't get foundation from Priceline. I have to get expensive foundation, use the lightest color. Yet I used medium to dark contour powder by the recommendation of the lady who worked at MAC. And I actually did have a contour brush for that, which is this brush. You know, I probably wouldn't even tap it off. Oh my God, oh my God. I don't know if you can see how orange that is, but it's fucking orange. Oh my God. For eyes, I used this brushed copper color, which is pink by Revlon and I used the brush it came with. I just like to point out, this is how many eye brushes I have now. And this is the brush. I really don't want to put this on my eye. It doesn't feel good. Obviously I did not use an eye primer. Uh, therefore you could still see every vein. I'm really quite deeply upset by doing this. <laughs> I really feel bad for my face at this point. So with mascara, I used to use the Architect 4D, and I think that was L'Oreal. I used that one, but I use Maybelline Lash Sensation now. It's my favorite one. I think Maybelline make the best mascaras. I remember being allowed to wear mascara to my year seven graduation and being really excited about it. Side note, the perfume I used to wear to school and everywhere was With Love by Hilary Duff. You know what? I don't think I look horrible because I'm so amazing, so I can pull it off. But I feel like if I walked into Mecca looking like this right now, no one would help me. For lipstick, this is the exact lipstick I used to use and it's almost gone. Yuck. It was actually my mum's and she gave it to me. And it is 185 by Catwalk. So, oh my God, the taste of it. I remember this so well. It tastes like, like chemically. It's not like a, like a vanilla, like the MAC ones. I only wear matte lipsticks now, so this is so weird. This is shiny. Oh my god. This is all I used to do. And I feel like the amount of time it takes to pack this shit on is actually a lot longer than a lot of the things I do now with my makeup. Uh, so I hope you enjoy seeing how I did my makeup when I was in high school, when I was 16 or whatever. Yeah, I hope you liked it and it was a bit of a laugh. I'm going to put in um, some close-up photos because you can't really see on here, but I think you'll, you'll like it. All right. Bye. I uh, just took all the makeup off, but I forgot to say... I used to actually sleep in that makeup um, and I would never take it off. I'd just put more on over the top the next day. I don't know how I have nice skin now. I was very lucky <laughs> that I fixed myself before that could do some serious damage. So people, take off your makeup. Please take off your makeup. Please. Okay, that's it. Bye.